Hi, I'm Rich Harrington, and welcome to another edition of Photoshop for Video. This week, we're going to look at a standard that you seem to always need in a production, and that is a logo bug. Now, a lot of networks and even web-based programs have turned to branding their shows by dropping a bug in the corner. Sometimes this is done to protect the footage or to claim ownership, and other times it's just to reinforce branding. Let's see how you can make one of these from scratch. Once you're in Photoshop, you simply need to make a new document that's sized for your video format. I'm going to go ahead and choose the video category here, and I know that I am working with some HD footage, so I'll go ahead and pick that. I'm going to work with the DVC Pro HD 720. Now, when I do that and click OK, it goes ahead and creates a new document for me that's sized correctly. The next step is to bring the logo in there's a good chance that this logo is a vector file, so you should use the place command. So we'll go ahead and choose the place command here, and let's grab a logo and hit place. It grabs it and adds it in, and we could scale that as we need and drop it into the corner. Now, once you're satisfied, you could apply a bevel style. So we'll apply the bevel and adjust the size of it a little bit so it stands out just a bit. Don't go too soft with it, but you could play with the depth if you need to. And at this point, it's got the slight bevel. Now, what you want to do is take advantage of the fill opacity. There's two opacity sliders. Opacity affects everything on the layer, and the fill opacity lowers the opacity of the object, but not the actual opacity of the layer styles. So if we drop the fill opacity down to say something near 20%, what you'll see there is that the bevel stays behind, but the actual layer itself becomes more see-through. What we could then do is turn this layer off and run the alpha channel action. Alpha channels from visible layer, click the play button, and let it continue, and it'll actually generate the alpha channel. If we look here in the channels palette, you'll see that it's got ramped transparency. We could save that off, file, save as, and put that out as a TIFF file. Switch over to a video editing tool and bring that in. and then drop it on top of our video track. In doing so, you'll see that you now have a bug that can appear over your show. Now, if you have a logo with a lot of intersecting elements, you might want to go through the effort and split them up to a few pieces and bevel them individually. In that case, you're going to want to take the file into Illustrator and first split it into layers. This way, you could bevel each word or letter or element independently. Let's do one more really quick here so this makes sense. I'm going to take a simple logo here and we'll bring it into Photoshop. Let's go ahead and throw this alpha channel away and we'll use the layers command here, turn that off, and we'll choose file place. Now the EPS that we're going to use this time is a little problematic in that it has some white mixed into it, but that's okay. We can click place and size this as we need to. Get that in the right spot. And then it's pretty straightforward. We'll just jump over to channels here and let's just do image. We'll show all the menu items real quick. There we go. Calculations. And we're just going to make a new channel really quick to knock that out. That's pretty good there. Press levels and tighten that up a bit. If you've never seen the calculations command, check out our back episodes. We go really in depth on it. Calculations is one of our favorite commands here. I've got an alpha channel here. That's pretty good. We can go ahead now and just apply that as a layer mask. There we go. And we've got what we need. Let's toss on the bevel. And we can adjust the size of that. That works pretty well. 
Go ahead and lower the fill opacity for the original, leaving just a hint of the color in there. That looks pretty good. I'll go ahead and put a very gentle stroke on there. Let's set that to black. And we'll set that to the outside, but lower it to 30% opacity. Run the alpha channel action. There it goes. Check channels, make sure we only have one. There we go. Save the file and then switch back over to our video editing tool. And you'll actually see that it updated. So there's a bug with a little bit of color in it, but you can clearly see that the bug is translucent and you can see through it. So pretty straightforward. If you want no color, just simply lower that fill opacity all the way down to zero. But the key here is to play with bevels and then lower the fill until you get the type of opacity that you want in your jelly bug. So hope you enjoyed this week's episode of Photoshop for Video. We've got a lot more on our website at photoshopforvideo.com. And I also invite you to check out the book, Photoshop for Video. A lot of great tips in there. And keep your eyes out. We'll have a special update coming very soon. Keep an eye on it over at our website at photoshopforvideo.com.